How to get rid of second person case in your academic paper. You and your is used in conversational English. When we talk to each other, we use you and your to address the other person all the time. We use you and your so much that we are unaware of the many times we use second person case, you and your, every day to talk to our friends, families, and colleagues. You and your is used in informal English and in conversational English when we are in an informal setting and with people we know. You and your are used in business English so that the business person can address the customers like people they know to attract business. You and your is also used when you teach someone something. However, you and your is not used in formal English or in academic papers. When we write academic papers or research papers, we are talking about other people or we are talking about our research or the topic we are writing. Therefore, in academic papers, we use third person case, he, she, and they, and we delete you and your from our writing because our audience is no longer our friends and family, but other researchers or our teacher. How do we get rid of you and your in our academic writing? You can replace you and your with a person or people, one or ones, or with different names based on your topic. Replacing you and your with a person. So if you get married young, you make a lot of mistakes. You need to drink eight glasses of water to keep your body hydrated. Okay, so that sounds way too conversational. So here, if you want to make your English more formal, you would say, if a person gets married young, they can make a lot of mistakes. A person needs to drink eight glasses of water a day to keep their body hydrated. You can replace you and your with people. When you want to make a generalization, you can use people to replace you and your. If people get married young, they can make a lot of mistakes. People need to drink eight glasses of water a day to keep their body hydrated. You can, if you, if, when you want to be very formal and you're talking to someone really important, you can replace you and your with one and ones. Using one and ones is also used for generalizations, just like with people, but it sounds very formal and maybe a bit stiff. So use one and ones when appropriate. If you get married young, you make a lot of mistakes. If one gets married young, one can make a lot of mistakes. One needs to drink eight glasses of water a day to keep one's body hydrated. I've also noticed that one and ones is used a lot more in British English than in American English. And so American English is considered worldwide uh, American English is considered more conversational and more informal, while British English is considered more formal. Replace you and your with different names based on your topic. So if you're talking about cats and dogs, you can replace you and your with cat owner or dog owner. Cats are very independent and can sense a cat owner's low emotion and will come to the cat owner when a cat owner is feeling depressed. So instead of saying cats are very independent and can sense your low emotions and will come to you when you are feeling depressed, you could replace you and your with cat owner. Warm weather allows you to stay outdoors longer so you can get more fit. Instead of saying you and your, you could say warm weather allows the average person to stay outside longer so they can get more fit. Childhood is a time where you have no adult responsibilities. So you could also say, childhood is a time when the average American child has no adult responsibilities. So you can hear the, t the difference in tone and in register. And so when you're talking with someone very important, and when you're writing an academic paper, you want to sound objective, you want to sound professional. It is very hard to break the habit of using you and your all the time since we use it all the time for speech. And it will take practice to get used to writing your academic paper without you and your so that your paper doesn't sound like the way you talk. Although that's okay if you want to be friendly and approachable in other fields such as business English or um, for technical writing 
or when you're making an oral presentation, whenever it's essential that you want to connect with your audience because you want the audience to do something for you, then it's okay to use you and your. But in academic writing, you're not trying to connect with your audience in a personal way. When you do research papers, you're just providing your audience information or facts about your topic. So if you're going to be writing about climate change or you're going to be writing about uh, biology, um, they don't, the, the, then the reader does not need, you don't need to say you and your, there's no need to, to uh, bond with the reader and there's no need to sound friendly and approachable. Those are the other reasons why people actually use you and your in other fields. But in academic writing, mainly you're, you're just giving people information. And then as you give people information, you want to sound like you're the expert. And so since you're the expert, there's no need for you to talk to anybody but yourself, so, so to speak. And so the more formal and um, the more formal your English, okay, the more professional you sound and the more credible and people tend to believe you more because you know when you talk to someone people will just talk off the top of their heads without any facts without any research and they'll sprinkle it with a lot of you and your you you did it when you were a kid so it's got to be true or it's got to be right because everybody does it or something like that so when people talk they say a lot of nonsense and they sprinkle it a lot with they sprinkle the English with a lot of you and yours but when you use a more formal register of English then you sound more like an expert and you sound less like your next door neighbor who gossips all the time. Or you, sound more, you sound less like your, your best friend who may gossip all the time or whatever, okay? So, it will take time to get used to writing without you and your. Before you hand in your rough draft to the forum and before you hand in your final draft to the assignment portal, make sure you replace all your you and your with a person, people, one, or the name of the person based on your topic. Just like always, if you have any questions, feel free to email me anytime. That's the end of this. Um, that's the end of this slide, and um, I hope that you enjoy my slides and you find them enjoyable. And you can email me with comments on how I can improve my presentations.